Hello everyone, welcome to Kids Auto and Truck Repair. Today we have a 2012 Honda Accord with a 2.4 liter. This vehicle came to us because there is a grinding noise coming from the wheels every time the brake pedal is pressed down to the floor. I checked it out. I have determined that the brake pads and the brake rotors are worn out. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace brake pads and the brake rotor. We have to replace the pads and the rotor so that the grinding noise can be fixed. I already replaced the pads and the rotors in the front. So now we're going to do the back. I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the pads and the rotor on this side. And then I'm going to do the other side off camera. It's the same process on both sides in the back or even the front, it's the same process. So now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the tire. We're going to undo these two bolts so we can remove the caliper. The caliper bolts are 12 millimeter bolts. Now the pads on this side are completely worn out. They actually went metal to metal. We kind of could have reused this brake rotor if the pads didn't go metal to metal but the pad especially the inner pad is completely worn out i'm going to show it to you just in a moment now this is a screw in caliper piston so we're going to have to use a tool to push this caliper piston back okay so we're going to have to use a tool to screw this in so we can push the caliper piston back. Now I'm gonna sit our caliper over here. Okay, the caliper is not sitting on the hose, so we're good. So now, look at this inner pad. You see this inner pad? The inner pad is completely worn out, so it went metal to metal. Okay, it shaved the rotor over here. So this is really bad completely worn out now we have to make sure that our caliper pins slide in easily okay so this pin slides in easily this one is a little hard so we're gonna have to clean this now next step is undoing the caliper bracket bolt so we're going to undo these two bolts so we can remove the caliper bracket. So here comes the first caliper bracket bolt. So now we're gonna remove the second one. So here it is. Now our caliper bracket can come out. So we're gonna remove our brake rotor. Look, 
You see how shaved the rotor is over here on this side? Yeah, so this is bad. We have to replace this rotor. Okay. Now I have a drain container underneath here. It's always good to wipe these rotors down before you install them so we can remove the oil that they put at the factory so these rotors don't rust. All right, so we're good. So now let's prep our caliper bracket before we install it. I'm gonna remove these caliper springs first. We're going to clean our caliper bracket. All right. So now we're going to start by lubing our caliper pins first. So I'm going to remove this first pin. Now I'm making sure that my pin boot is sitting. Okay, so that's good. This caliper pin over here was binding a little bit. So I'm making sure that we get rid of all this. this old grease All right, so that's good. Our first pin is lubed. So now we're gonna remove our second pin.
Okay, so we got our caliper pins lubed. So now we're gonna install our new pad springs or pad hardware, however you wanna call it. All right, so our caliper bracket is prepped. The pins have been lubed, so we're good to go. So now let's take the caliper bracket to the vehicle so we can install it. So we're gonna install our caliper bracket. Just like that. Now I'm going to torque these caliper bracket bolts. The torque spec for the caliper bracket bolts is 80 foot pound. So this first bolt is torqued. So that's torqued to 80 foot pound. So now we're going to torque the second one. This is going to be a little bit tricky because it's kind of at an angle. So right there, so this is torqued. So we have torqued both caliper bracket bolts. So now we're going to install our brake pads. Okay, so I got the pads installed. So now we're gonna install these springs over here for the pads. I'm gonna spray a little bit of uh, WD-40 on the piston boot. You guys probably won't see, but the boot over here for the piston is a little dried up. So I'm gonna spray some WD-40 on it. Because I don't wanna tear it up. So 
So as I'm turning this, I'm actually pushing the piston inward. So now I'm going to try and see if our caliper can be installed. Okay, so that's good. The piston has been pushed back far enough to the point where it can be installed. So now we're going to lube our caliper jaws. So I'm going to lube these caliper jars. So we're good to go. So now our brake caliper can be installed. So I'm making sure that our springs are on. So we're good to go. Just like that. All right, we got the caliper bolt installed. I'm gonna torque the caliper bolt. The torque spec for the caliper bolt is 25 foot pound. So the first caliper bolt is torqued. Now we're gonna to torque the second one. So just like that, the second caliper bolt is torqued. Right there, torqued up to 25 foot pound. This one is torqued, so we're good to go. Now we're gonna torque the log nuts. The torque spec for the log nuts is 80 foot pound. Right there, first one is torqued. I'm gonna leave this right over here. This is how you remove and replace rear brake pads and the brake rotor 
on this Honda Accord. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you next time.